What's up everyone? Some of you might have noticed that your helium hotspots have the relayed status, which is not good for mining. In this video, I'll tell you what it means and then take you through all the steps needed to fix this problem with a demo. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel, Iron Tech. Okay, so step zero is to determine whether your hotspot is being relayed or not. It's really very simple. Go to your browser and type explorer.helium.com slash coverage and it will show you the coverage map. There you can directly enter the name of your hotspot or you can also zoom in to the hotspot directly from the map. So here I will just zoom in to one of my neighbor's hotspots. So here I will just click on that and go to hotspot details. Now here you can see it says it's synced but it's in relayed status. Now if you bring your cursor over that it will show you that hotspots connection is being relayed through another hotspot on the network which may affect mining. Go here to learn more about opening port 44158. So you can click here to learn more about the details but I will show you that anyway. Alright, let us spend a few minutes trying to understand what the problem is. However, if you are interested in simply fixing the problem, jump to the time shown on the screen. So the first thing we need to know is what is a peer-to-peer -peer network or a P2P network. It is a kind of network where there are a bunch of different computers, which are also known as nodes, are connected to each other so that they can communicate directly. Now if you replace these nodes with your favorite hotspot, it becomes Helium's peer-to-peer -peer network. Why is this important? This is important because the hotspots need to exchange information about uh, the beaconing time or what kind of encrypted message should be transmitted during a POC challenge. But uh, this is a simplified picture. Actually, your hotspot, hotspots are not directly connected to each other. In fact, your hotspot is connected to the router, which is then connected to the internet through some internet service provi provider. Your router actually acts as a firewall. What does it mean? It means that if your hotspot sends a query to the internet, it will be allowed to pass through. And the reply to that query will also come back to your hotspot. However, if there is a, another hotspot in the internet which is trying to communicate with you, this query will be blocked by the firewall. That's why your hotspot can communicate to others, but others cannot. So in simple terms, in the presence of the router, your hotspot will be able to talk to a second hotspot in the network and get a reply from that. But if a third hotspot directly tries to talk to your hotspot, that will not be allowed. So this situation is called a relayed status. That's because other hotspots uh, need to pass the information through a particular hotspot to talk to you. In other words, this hotspot is, a hotspot is relaying the messages for your hotspot. This is not a healthy situation. It, it is because this situation adds extra pressure to other hotspots and that affects the mining efficiency. So how do we solve it? It's really very simple. You have to open port 44158 for TCP connection. Don't worry, I'll tell you in details how to do it. And once you do that, other hotspots in the network can directly communicate with your hotspot. And that makes, the, makes your hotspot happy. Technically, this thing is called port forwarding. And next, I'll show you how to do that. To perform port forwarding, you need some information. What you need to do, you have to log in to your router or modem and change its settings. For that, you need to know what is the default gateway address. I'll show you how to obtain this one. It usually looks like 10.1.10.1 or 192.168.1.1.1 or something similar. Then you need to know the login credentials for your router or modem. Uh, you might have already obtained that from your internet service provider 
or if you have purchased your router on your own and never changed its uh, username password it will be the default one and you can google using your model name model number and you will obtain the username and password but note that this is not the same as your Wi-Fi SSID or your network's name and the password to connect to that network it's different okay so step two is to log in into your router or modem and set up the port forwarding for that go to your browser type the default gateway address it will bring to the login page of your router once that is loaded type your username and password and login once you log in it will show you the details of your router and then go to connected devices it will show you the list of devices that are currently connected to your router in my case my hotspot showed up as helium hotspot so click on that it will show you the details so what is important here to note down these ip address which is 10.1.10.189 for my case so note that this is a dynamic ip address so i prefer it to be a static ip this is optional but it's recommended if you do it this way to do that either you can click on here add device with reserved ip or click on edit and select reserve ip and save it so this 10.1.10.189 will be now static ip which is assigned to my helium hotspot now the next step will be to apply the or set up the port for forwarding at this ip address so this is taking a few seconds let's wait until this is done okay so this has been assigned now the menu will be somehow somewhat similar and most likely very intuitive so but the next thing is that you have to find the port forwarding option in your router in my case this is placed inside advanced and uh, port forwarding i click on that i come to this page and now it says port forwarding port forwarding is now enabled but there is no entry so i have to add a service so remember I have to use the IP address for my Helium hotspot. So this is doesn't matter. Service name I'll give it a name Helium. So what you need service type or only TCP. Don't you don't need the UDP. You can have it, but it's not needed. Now the IP address. So 10.1.10.189 and the start port is 44158 end port is also the same this is how you manually enter it and you can hit save or you could just use the connected device list and select the helium hotspot from here click on that and click on add so it will automatically fill it up for you all this information and then click on save so it will probably again take a few seconds to save it so it's saved and now you can see that my helium hotspot has now this port forwarded to it and which is assigned to the static ip address so that's how you enable the port forwarding once you do it your hotspot should be able to talk to other hotspots in the helium network directly and as a result it should no longer be in a relayed status in the beginning my hotspot also had the relayed status and after i enabled port forwarding that problem was solved as you can see here if you are still unsure about how to perform port forwarding you can simply google search using the model name and number of your router or model and you should be able to get enough information to do that and finally a few troubleshooting points the IP address of your Helium hotspot might change if you switch from Wi-Fi to Ethernet or vice versa. It can also happen if you turn it off and turn it on again. 
This will not be a problem if you assign static IP to your Helium hotspot as I have explained in the video. But if you stay in the dynamic IP settings, this might happen. So keep that in mind. The next one is if some for some reason you reset your router, the port forwarding information might be erased. So you have to uh, set it up again. And finally, remember that the Helium Explorer might take several hours to show the correct status of your Helium hotspot. That's all for today. Hope this information will help you in fixing the relay problem. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments section. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.